Hey and welcome back to the Coding Hub. In today's video we will have a look at the best coding applications for iPad. Let's get into it. In no particular order, um, what you'll see here is uh, Swift Playgrounds by Apple uh, themselves. This application is pretty amazing. They created um, playgrounds for Mac and iPad only. And the idea for this is that you can use the application to learn how to code in Swift um, and create mobile applications. Um, however, this application is actually a little bit more advanced than just learning. You can use it for learning. As you can see here, you can actually create a full-fledged application so you can select stuff like the app's um, icon, uh, its capabilities, what category it is. You can even set a custom icon um, and just to know you will have to create a custom icon if you want to publish the application to the Apple App Store which you can do directly from here. So you can you can create an application and directly publish it to the App Store from uh, Playgrounds on your iPad. And as you can see here in the in the video, I actually ran this um, sample application. It crashed, but I thought it was more useful to see the sort of the sort of issues that you can get from um, uh, not issues, but the way you can debug some of the problems in the application and what sort of errors you get and uh, and how the uh, interpreter tries to help you, uh, which I think is uh, more useful to know than than the application always. Uh, working because it won't always work. Next up we have the Code App and this is probably my personal favorite application on the Apple App Store. It's available on both iPad and iOS uh, so you can uh, code on your phone as well. Um, and what you'll notice here is that this application looks very similar to Visual Studio Code uh, and that is for a reason. Um, they use the same uh, rendering engine, so the code um, when you're writing code will look very similar. They support multiple different language highlighting and IntelliSense as well as uh, compilation, uh, offline compilation for a few languages, which is super cool. Um, and as you can see here in the settings menu, they have lots and lots of different options um, that you can use and there is a uh, version history where they update the application very very often. Um, so as you can see uh, there's a terminal which you can use to do some uh, basic uh, commands that work in here. Um, there is um, different tabs for uh, your um, problems and for your execution runtime. You can also connect to remote servers as well as source control from uh, places like GitHub or any other uh, ones that you have. Um, and you can see here your uh, editor screen so you can create a new file and they have some templates in the different um, in the different projects uh, and here we ran a JavaScript file uh, directly uh, offline which is super cool. And just as an honorable mention here, uh, this is VS Code Online, uh, which you can run directly in your browser. And this is the full version of VS Code that you can run directly in your Safari browser. You can do this on uh, any tablet or device that you have. Uh, and it's very good because you can open up uh, local files from your, uh, from your tablet. Uh, and edit those directly, but just remember everything's in uh, the cloud, so uh, you won't uh, keep this uh, if you don't then save it back to your device. Next up, we have TextCode. TextCode is a very good text editor uh, because you can uh, connect with various different remote repositories. They have a lot of different languages uh, for um, highlighting and uh, the application is extremely quick and snappy uh, which makes it great for editing some files on the go or even just reading uh, some code um, uh, on your daily commute. 
You can unlock some different themes and uh, things like that. Uh, however, the base application is completely free um, and I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, however, you can see some of the things that um, you might have to pay for, like PHP syntax highlighting or, or Java syntax highlighting, uh, for example. And also the line numbers won't appear uh, unless you pay either. Next up we have Kadea, which is perhaps the most expensive application on our list today. It's around £15 on the UK uh, App Store, uh, however it's well worth the money because it lets you create uh, applications in uh, 3D uh, as well as 2D and you can export these projects directly into Xcode on your Mac which is super super cool. And lastly, but by no means least, we have Textatic Code Editor, uh, which again is pretty expensive, uh, around £13 in the UK. However, it has over 80 um, code uh, highlighting languages, uh, as well as compatibility with uh, code completion for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and others. And it can um, tie into your iCloud Drive uh, as well. So what are your favorite coding applications for your iPad or even your iPhone? Uh, let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear if we miss any out or do you use some of these already? Um, and what has been your experience with coding on an iPad? Do you think it's the future? Do you think uh, it has a place in your existing workflow? Um, and things like that. For me personally, I use it when I'm in bed and I have an idea or there's something new I want to try out um, and I get out my iPad because I'm in bed and I decide to try out that new thing in bed. Um, and I think it's great for, for those kind of scenarios where you can just sit back and relax and try something out without worrying too much about um, um, compilations and battery life on your uh, laptop and things like that. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's it from us. Uh, let us know in the comments below uh, what are your favorite applications and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.